is what I was diagnosed with. I think I mentioned it in my last video. I'm just going to give a little bit more detail about what, first of all, what it is. Um, I was diagnosed with endometriosis. And if you don't know what that means, it's basically a disease um, that has to do with your reproductive organs if you're a female. And what it basically is, is like the lining of your uterus is basically growing on the outside and it can actually travel to other parts of your body as well. So it's not just solely your reproductive system, but if it gets bad enough, it can attach to places like possibly your kidneys stuff like that still kind of low in your body but still can travel now as you can imagine with it being a rep reproductive organ type thing that's going on there's questions about fertility and when I first found out about endometriosis um, that I had it I started researching and I saw that one of the symptoms is could cause infertility now I don't have any children and I'm 25 so I'm getting to that age to where I'm ready or starting to get ready to have children so that was actually like a big blow to me once I was told and I researched but then I started researching a little bit more and I'm actually a part of an app called Glow and if you don't have the app let me see if I can pull it up on my phone for you I'm being a little bit nosy. There's people. There's movement outside of my apartment building. But let me find it out. Okay. So it's going to look. Um, you see that big G where it says glow? So yeah. Hey Tubbies. I am here. We're going to talk about something very serious. Um, but before we get started on any of this stuff. If you are new, welcome to the channel. Um, if you have been here a while, one of my old subscribers, thank you for returning and you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and leave a comment below. Okay, so now that we got all of the necessities out of the way, what we're gonna talk about now, I actually included a clip from two years, well, almost two years ago because it's February right now. It'll be two years in July of when I actually went through my laparoscopic surgery and found out that I have endometriosis. Now, um, I kind of told you a little bit about how I felt then, and then I'm actually going to link it in the video so that you can actually go back and look at the video if you have a look at the video. Okay? Get it? Got it? Cool. Okay. So... I put up a little teaser video, a couple teasers. I'm sorry for teasing you if you're probably tired of looking at the teases. Um, tired of teasing, well not tired, but sorry for teasing you. And now here's the actual video about how I actually feel about the endometriosis that I have and what steps I'm actually taking in order to try to counter that. In the video that I actually um, even told y'all in the first place, um, that I was having this issue, I talked about how it affects um, your reproductive organs and all the different things. Now, with that being said, babies are born out of your reproductive organs. Go figure, huh? Okay, so we're going to talk today about my faith because, of course, endometriosis is not something that you can cure, but there's so many medicines and different things on the market. To be honest, I don't really just want to just try every single medicine out there because I don't want to be the lab rat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, no. I'm going to get it one day. Um, But anyways, so... I think I talked about it before that I'm actually... I actually still am holding on to that faith. I know it's been... A couple of years or almost a couple of years I'm still holding on to that same faith but now we can actually take the steps because of course we're married we were born from a girlfriend when we first found out so it was just doing everything or researching doing every single thing but now since we is married we're taking some steps and in the video that I actually did the teaser on I actually had a picture of some Geritol 
Now, if you have heard of that before, people, it comes in a peel form and it comes in a liquid form. We're currently finishing up our first liquid bottle. I think we have been on it for maybe two or two and a half weeks. And unfortunately it didn't work this month, but we're gonna keep trying for next month. But what the heck is Geritol and why do I need to take that in order to try to TTC? Now, um, I'll tell you what TTC is also. It'll be in the description, so. And you probably heard of it before anyway. But, Geritol, I've actually been researching. Um, my sister was the first person to tell me about it. And I was researching that so, so many people that had either PCOS, I think this was called PCOS, or endometriosis and end up having successful results. Now, I am aware that everybody's results is not the exact same like it's not gonna be in the exact same uh, length of time some people's gonna take longer some people's gonna take a shorter amount of time now with that in mind because like with everything everybody's body's different it's just like me saying that i cut myself and like just because mine's it hurt me it's gonna hurt everybody else they cut themselves of course i'm not cutting myself but just saying just using it as an example i mean same logic but what I am saying is that it's not going to affect everyone the exact same. Now, you look on the bottle, it doesn't say anything about fertility or anything. It just talks about B12 vitamins and some other vitamin, or uh, iron, iron supplement. So it helps with those deficiencies. Why is it important for TTC? It is important because it provides your body the nutrients in order to be able to, first of all, have a healthy body to be able to even implant one of those little blessings from the Lord. Yeah. Okay, so your body got to be ready. It's just like when you're trying to plant a flower. You don't just throw a seed in there and you just hope that a flower comes out. You actually have to prepare the ground. Because, like, if you're trying to put a seed in the sand, it's not going to grow. It's just going to sit there. I mean, same concept. You got to prepare. You got to prepare your foundation for your destination. No, that doesn't make sense. You got to prove the look. You had to prepare your foundation for your end result, for your conclusion, for your declaration. Now, with that in mind, I am still going to have faith. I'm about to be 27 and less than four months god lead time is flying but it's less than four months so i mean i'm not rushing it it's in god's timing but that is one of the first things that we're actually doing i will be updating as we go so i can kind of talk about symptoms and everything so this is just like a quick little intro of what we're doing um you're probably wondering why my husband's not in here i left him in there watching tv because if he was in here, he'd probably say something very crazy or foolish or whatnot. But I love him. I love him, love him, love him. But he'll probably do something crazy or say something crazy. And yeah, and then I had to try to edit it out and all that. <sighs> but yeah. So that's my little spiel. I will be back next week. And we will talk a little bit more, um, even if it's not just about TTC, just some girl things. Um, because, first of all, we know that I am a teacher. You should know this by this point. If you're a new subscriber, I am a teacher. And I always tell my kids, because they always try to talk to me about different things. And I don't, mind, I don't mind helping the kids. I mean, that's one thing about me. I love my kids, even when they get on my nerves. They get on my nerves. They get on my nerves. But I love some. I love my kids. But. I forgot exactly where we were going with this. Where was I going? Okay. Anyway. So what I was saying is I'm a teacher first. So. We'll be talking about some girl things. Because I know as a teenager growing up. I was having so many insecurities, which we'll talk about in another video as well. Like, we don't want this video to be a whole hour because, <laughs> sis, a bro, broski, or whatever you want to be. Um, If we were talking about my teenage years, we'd be talking all day. We'll be probably on here 24 hours. And I know you ain't got time for it. I ain't got time. So, we're going to break up these little videos. 
I do some little girl stuff. Um, talk about problems I had as a teenager. And some things that girls may be just going through and things that I'm going through as they happen. So, we will be having some interesting stuff. Um, also, I know at the beginning of the year, I told you. Of course, I got to flash my ring every now and then. Okay, but anyway. So, I know I told you at the beginning of the year, I was going to be doing my new channel. I actually had to sit and think and pray about it. And I think I'm just going to stick to this channel because, I mean, like... I already got my loyal followers here, so why even try to start something new? So, I will be closing that one back up. I probably shouldn't have opened it in the first place, but I'll be closing that one back up. So, anybody that may have added me there, I will be um, letting them know as well to follow me over here. Over here. Over here. Yeah, okay, I'm being goofy. I'm getting restless because I'm actually trying to fight my sleep. I'm sleeping. I am sleepy as heck. So, I need to go to bed. So, anyways, um, see you in the next video. Also, yeah, I did forget something. Also, I know that I actually said I was going to be doing the giveaways and stuff in February. Please pardon me because I actually have the videos ready. They weren't the live screens from the last week and this week. They weren't the live screen. They were actually... Um, Pre-made videos, not pre-made, pre-record, same thing, same thing, but um, it was already pre-made or whatever, and I actually have to figure out how to actually, because I actually didn't edit it either, so I'm going to edit it a little bit so it can be of good quality, and I will be posting it, um, I'll be posting actually to, if not today it will most definitely be tomorrow so I'll be looking out you'll be getting lots of notifications from me um in the very near future so i'll be looking out and i will see you in the next video and remember if you have not thumbs up or subscribe do it now do it Okay, so I am gone. I'm out the building. Toodles.